Dear friends, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. So what we are going to cover in this uh, video lecture, we will study the boundaries of the oral cavity. We will study the types of oral mucosa uh, in this lecture. So this will be a very brief lecture. I'll try to make it as interesting as possible. So watch this lecture till the end. So the oral cavity, it consists of two parts. Number first is the vestibular part. The vestibular part, this is a picture. This is the clinical picture of the oral cavity. So this part that is present between the teeth or between the gums and the buccal mucosa is the vestibular part. Similarly, in the anterior region, from this gingival portion and the labial mucosa so this portion is the vestibular part so this complete portion is the vestibular part of the oral cavity the second part of the oral cavity is the oral cavity proper the so oral cavity proper it is present inside the maxillary and the mandibular arch so this all whole area is the oral cavity proper so outer part is the is the vestibular part present between the gums and the buccal mucosa or the labial mucosa and this inner part inside the alveolar ridges is the oral cavity proper so this is a picture and this is a clinical picture of the oral cavity and this is the diagram of the oral cavity so you should be able to differentiate between a clinical picture and between a diagram or a histological slide so the boundaries of the oral cavity so the superior border of the oral cavity it is formed by the hard and the soft palate so this part of the palate is is the hard palate posterior to this area is the soft palate which is not visible in this clinical picture so superior border is formed by hard and the soft palate now the inferior border of the oral cavity so the inferior border it is formed by the floor of the mouth so this is the floor of the mouth and the floor of the mouth it forms the inferior border boundary of the oral cavity now the posterior border this is a diagram of the oral cavity the anterior pillar of fossas it forms the posterior border of the oral cavity together with that part of the tonsil so anterior border of fossas and tonsils it forms the posterior border of the oral cavity now the lateral boundary or the lateral border of the oral cavity it is formed by the buccal mucosa so this is the buccal mucosa and it forms the lateral borders of the oral cavity now we will discuss the types of oral mucosa so according to the function there are three types of oral mucosa so the first type is the lining mucosa and the lining mucosa it comprises of 60 percent of the oral mucosa is the lining mucosa the second type is the masticatory mucosa and about 25 percent of the oral mucosa it comprises of masticatory mucosa the third type is the specialized mucosa and around 15 percent of the mucosa it is of specialized variety now we will discuss the examples uh, where these mucosa they are located in the oral cavity one by one so we'll start with lining mucosa so the lining mucosa which forms the majority of the of the mucosa is the lining mucosa so where it is located the lining mucosa it is present on the buccal surface of the oral cavity so this 
these areas they are lined by buccal by the lining mucosa similarly the labial surfaces they are also lined by the by the lining mucosa so you can see there's a color change so this area so above this area this area is the alveolar mucosa similarly below this line you can observe the color change so this area is the alveolar mucosa similarly this area is the alveolar mucosa so these areas are also lined by the variety of mucosa that is the lining mucosa the lining mucosa is located on the buccal surface on the buccal surface on the labial surface and on the alveolar mucosa these all are of lining mucosa variety addition in addition to that this surface of the tongue is the ventral surface of the tongue and the ventral surface of the tongue it is also lined by the lining mucosa it is covered by the lining mucosa similarly the floor of the mouth it also comprises of lining mucosa so lining mucosa it it forms the majority of the oral mucosa is of this type the second type is the masticatory mucosa so the masticatory mucosa it is present on the heart palate so all this area of the heart palate it is covered by the masticatory mucosa in addition to that this part is the gingiva this part is the gingiva and the gingiva it is also formed by the masticatory mucosa and above this gingiva you can see this color change and this is the lining mucosa or the alveolar mucosa so alveolar mucosa is the is, is a lining mucosa so this gingiva, it is also a masticatory mucosa. Last variety is the specialized mucosa. The specialized uh, mucosa, it is present on the dorsal surface of the tongue. So this is the dorsal surface of the tongue. The ventral surface, if you remember, it was covered by the lining mucosa so this mucosa on the dorsal surface is the specialized mucosa and why we call it as specialized because this mucosa it contain various papilla and those papilla they contain taste birds so that's why we call it as specialized mucosa thank you very much for staying with us uh, do write your feedback or suggestions in the comments and uh, stay blessed Thank you again.